We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church at Big Ben. Amen. We're excited. I hope you're excited. And I hope you're ready to receive what God has for you. Amen. Reciba lo que el Señor tenga para usted. He wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you, change you. And sometimes he wants to correct us. Amen. <laughs> el Señor le deja que la palabra lo corre, nos uh, permita que la palabra nos uh, bendizca. Uh, an, nos an, uh, <laughs> con ánimo y también y también nos quiere cambiar, amen, so, amen. nos quiere corregir, so praise God, leave it up to him, he wants to do all these things for you, he wants to bless you, yeah. amen, he wants to bless you on a daily basis, we just got to line up with him, amen? amen, you know, we always run up to him and tell him all the things we've got, all our plans, and he says, why are you telling me these, uh -huh. when I already have plans for you and they're already blessed, Amen. So all we need to do is get on the winning side. Amen. Amen. Church, we got to get on the winning side. Once we get on the winning side, you'll never have to lose again. Amen. No. Bible says, for God so loved the world. He said, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus came and made a way for us. He says, I am the only way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Amen. Amen. And there's no other way. He says the truth is going to set us free. Yes. Amen. When you know the truth, you know, it doesn't matter about who says what. This person says this, you know, when you know the truth, you yeah. just rely on the truth. You know, when you yeah. get full of the word, all doubts and unbeliefs go out. Yeah. Amen. And that's what you want to do. You want to step out in faith on a daily basis, no matter where you're going. You know, God's already been there and he's made a way for us. And greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Amen. So you got to see yourself a winner. You got to see yourself a champion. You got to see yourself doing all things through Christ Amen. who strengthens you. Amen. And we're going to be talking about strengthening and we're going to continue with uh, being joyful and happy part two. Amen. Before Amen. we do that, grab your sword, soldiers of God. Amen. Amen. And let's say it like I'm in the church. Amen. Yes. Here's mine. This is my Bible. Wow. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I, have. I, can, I can do what it says I can do. do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. I'm sorry, but you know, you can tell your neighbor, if you ain't getting none of this, I'm getting it all. Amen. If you don't get fed, it's not God's fault. Amen. It's your fault. Because you got to be ready. What Patricia says, it's time to eat. Jose's got to be hungry and ready. Right. And if I don't feed myself, you're going to starve yourself. Amen. Yeah. We need the word of God. We need to be filled with the word of God yeah. so you can drive out all doubt and unbelief and, yeah. and the fears. Amen. You know, that's what stops us Christians. You know, mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about being happy. You know what stops happiness? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fear. Yeah. And comparison. Yeah. Comparing one another. Yeah. Competing one another. Yeah. And trying to copy somebody else. Those are stealers. They steal from joy. They steal your happiness. Amen? Amen. I wrote it a different way. In a few minutes, I'll, I'll repeat it to you. But still, those things steal your joy. Yeah. You don't want anything to steal your joy. Mm -hmm. Amen? So the Bible says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. We read last week, up there on the sign, there's a sign up there on the wall that says, each day is a gift of God. Amen? Receive it with gratitude Lord. so what's your daily attitude our daily attitude should be this this is the day the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it amen circumstances uh 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 life storms yes daily storms yes. storms of life yes shouldn't change your attitude amen As a matter of fact just get you more stirred up. Yeah. Because you gotta stir yourself up. If you don't stir yourself up, nobody's going to. That's but you right. know, hey, when we assemble ourselves together, we come and encourage one another. Amen. Amen. We're gonna be talking about that too. But child of God, you gotta be ready. Amen. You gotta be ready. If the Bible says you can do all things through Christ, then get excited and be ready. Because you gotta do your part. Amen. Amen. You're part of the body of Christ, whether yeah. you know it or not. You are the church, the body of Christ. Yes. So you got to do your share. You got to do your part. Say, Lord, what is it you want me to do? Mm -hmm. He's already blessed all those plans for you. Yeah. So now you have to receive it Amen. and step out in faith. 
and I just sit on como or your como soyama, you know, and do nothing, and then just let time go by and complain about it, you know, and what I didn't do. Yeah. It's time to get in the game yes. and get excited and get yes. active, amen. That's right. <laughs> Be a participator yes. and not just a spectator. That's you know right. what spectators do? All they do is watch, uh -huh. see what everybody else is doing, uh -huh. but they don't ever see themselves. That's right. You gotta see yourself doing something for him. Amen. And he put you here to do something, not just to spectate yes. and not just to judge. Right. Amen. Here's joy. We're gonna be talking about joy. Uh be joyful and happy part two. Yeah. Joy. <laughs> Jesus owns you. <laughs> Amen. So, Lord, I'm just giving myself back to you. Jesus yeah. came and bought us back to the Father. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed his son and bought us back. And now I owe him. Yeah. He owns me. <laughs> yeah. How about this one? Jesus over you. Amen. That's joy. Amen. This yeah. is our daily attitude. Amen. Lord, I just give myself back to you. Uh -huh. Let go and let God get off the throne and put God back on the throne. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Put your bed in the amen in me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Keep going. Those are good. Here you go. Choose joy. Joy, being happy, is a choice that you make on a daily basis. Amen. You make that choice. Amen. Don't let somebody decide for you if you, you know, if he says, this is the day the Lord is made, rejoice and be glad in it. So why are you sad? Well, you know, it's bad weather out there. I can't do anything out there. Well, what about you can do something inside? Yeah. Like get on your knees and pray. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Or do whatever needs to be done inside. Yeah. You know, but don't let it bring you down. The right. only, only reason you're down is because you're allowing yourself to be yes. down. Yeah. Amen. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He uses people just like God uses people. Yes. So you be careful who you're listening to and don't open yourself and just go vent yourself to somebody that's got more problems than you uh -huh. and can't help you. That's right. Oh, and you just poured yourself out to somebody and, and they come back at you and say, guess what? I got bigger problems than you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, you ain't no help. Uh -huh. What's it? Hey, listen, let's pray. Yeah. Let's pray right now. You know, God is listening. He's always listening. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Joy, being happy is what? A choice, choice. that you make every day. Yes. You know, so circumstances may be not so good. Amen. The day, the weather may not be good, but still, it's not going to determine. My choice is to be joyful, to be happy. Yes. Amen. To be a soldier, to be a happy, to be a, a, a warrior, to be a winner, a champion for God. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Go ahead. There we go. Joy of the Lord is our strength, and that's our text right there. Nehemiah 8.10 The joy of the Lord is my strength, and don't let nobody steal your joy. Remember the enemy is going to use people? Mm -hmm. They want to steal your joy. <laughs> we don't want you to be happy. We want you to we don't want you to have a smile. We want you to have a frown. Right. You walk around. You know, when you frown, people run from you. And when you have a smile, people, you attract people because people want to know why are you happy when the rest of us is, have frowns and are sad, you know, because yeah. of the news or because of what's going on. But Nehemiah 8.10 says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Just uh, catch up a little bit. I think I gave you a handout. If you look at your handout, it says this. Tell your storm or your storms of life how big your God is. Yeah. And we know we magnify the problems. We magnify the storms of life more than we magnify our God. Yeah. And you know, somebody just told you what they're going through and you say, hey, I can top that. You know, hey, yeah. listen, this is what I'm going through. But see, I rode on top of it. I didn't put it on yours, but I rode on top of mine. I says, joyfully, happily, yeah. tell your storms how big your God is. <laughs> That's what David did when he saw his giant in front of him. <laughs> he said, mm -mm. He said, my God is bigger than you. Yes. He said, I'm going to take you down. That's what you need to tell your giants. Yeah. I'm going to take you down <laughs> with a smile on your face, not a frown. <laughs> I say, you're no match to my God. That's right. Amen. You're no match to my God. I said, my God is bigger than any mountain, any storm that's yes. coming against me. Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. You just, you know what puts a smile on your face is knowing who's your, who your God is uh -huh. and who's you are. 
That puts a smile on your face. Say, hey, nobody can mess with my hero. He's my giant. He's, yes. he's my, my, my God. Amen. Yes. So we started off last week with this. Christians, believers, whatever you call yourself, mm -hmm. should be the most joyful, happiest, cheerful people in the world. That's right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, we oh. start off when we first come to Christ. We're so happy and so excited, mm -hmm. you know. And if you go on, continue with God. If you don't renew your mind, feed on the word, and renew your mind with the word of God, yeah, it's going to drain you. Yeah, Amen. You're going to be running on empty. That's why you need to keep those spiritual batteries charged all the time. All the Amen. Time. Yeah. Your priorities change. Your joy will change. Your happiness goes out, mm -hmm. and the world comes in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that smile is going to go upside down. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to have a frown on your face. Uh -huh. Amen. Say, what right. happened to you? Amen. It's not his problem. It's our problem. Yes. Because we need to keep ourselves filled. Amen. Yes. Too many Christians are just struggling through life. Born again, uh, <clears throat> how to say, uh, tongue talking, uh -huh. Bible toying, yeah. spirit filled Christians yes. should be the happiest. Yeah. <laughs> you know, looking for uh, somewhere to go to be a blessing. Yeah. Looking for right. devils to take down, you know, right. <laughs> to cast out, yeah. you know. <laughs> Born again believers living a defeated life. Yeah. Shouldn't be that way. We got, we got, we we got a problem here. Yeah. Jesus came and said, "I came and I was sacrificed so that you could have life and have it more abundantly." Amen. The enemy comes and says, "I have come that that to steal, kill, and destroy." Mm -hmm. So you choose. That's yeah. another choice you got to make. That's right. Are you going to choose to be stolen from, steal, kill, and destroy, uh -huh. or are you going to choose to have life and have it more abundantly? Have it joyfully yes. the way God wants us to have it. Amen. Amen. Jesus joyfully gave himself up yes, for us to live a Christian and a victorious life. Start celebrating your life by being joyful and being happy. Don't endure your days. Enjoy your days. Man, I'm glad this day is over. Oh, man, I had a rough day. I had a hard day. Mm. <laughs> well, you just magnifying your bad day. Yeah. <laughs> But enjoy your days. Praise yes. God. This day the Lord has gave, gave it me. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. At the end of the day, man, that was a joyful day. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Smile. Yes. It will give you faith. It will give you face, <laughs> a spiritual facelift. Keep your smile looking attractive. Uh -huh. No frowns. That's right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I know a lot of people see pastor and they will come to him and got a smile on their face. <laughs> And immediately start to tell me why they haven't been to church or why this or why that. And it says, it's all right, you know. We're praying for you. We're praying for you. We love you. God loves you. He's not going to throw you away. That's right. <laughs> Amen. We just got to remember that. He's not going to throw you away, but we got to make every effort yes. to be victorious through him because he's already given us uh, victory. Yes. We're not victims. We're victors in him. Yes. Amen. So praise yes. God. Amen. A few scriptures that we have. That, that we went through is Psalms 30, 34 and 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Yeah. You know, when you have him, you know he's good. Yes. Amen. It says, oh, the joys, the joys of those who take refuge in him. Psalms 30, 37 and 4. Delight or enjoy yourself also in the Lord, mm -hmm. and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Yeah. He's not want to steal from you. He didn't come to steal. He come to right. give you life and life more abundantly. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Proverbs 17 and 22 says, A cheerful, happy, joyful heart is yeah. what? Good medicine. Yeah. Amen. So listen, you choose. If you want to frown and be sad, it may not be good medicine for you. That's right. It's going to give you all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. Amen. The doctors already told us this. So Dr. Jesus tells us to delight ourselves, be happy, enjoy yeah. ourselves in the Lord. Amen. Oh, and he says it's good medicine. Yeah. But a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Yeah. Amen. So if you find yourself dragging, you know, I got to get some joy in me. I got to get some strength in me. Amen. <laughs> Every morning when you wake up, before you even get out of bed, just encourage yourself and declare it out loud. Hey. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. I'm going to enjoy yes. this yes. day. Why? Because yeah. Psalms 118, 24. Yeah. Keep going. Yes. This is 
Oh, this is another one. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Uh -huh. Taste and see that the Lord is uh, good and the joy of those who take refuge in him. We just read those. One more. There we go. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. So you, you're not wondering if he's going to. He's going to. Amen. He's going to do it. Amen. His timing, we just got to take it to him, pray about it, and leave it there. Amen. Amen. And he's going to bring it to pass at his timing. Yes. Praise God. Amen. So Psalms 118, 24. We see one more. Okay, this is a cheerful one. A cheerful heart is good medicine, uh -huh. and a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Proverbs 17, 22. Ooh, that's good. Uh -huh. You even got a little heart for you. There we go. Uh -huh. There it is. This is the day the Lord has made. Yes. We, you can take the we out and put your name there. Uh -huh. Okay? <laughs> we talk, always talk about personalizing your, your yes. Bibles to put your name to it. Okay? Uh -huh. Scratch the we and says, I or me, Jose, will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? Amen. You know, you're going to make people mad. You're going like, to make people just want to frown at you, you know, because I don't know why you're smiling. <laughs> I'm smiling because the, I've read, I've, I've spent time with the Lord, yes. and I've read His Word, and it's going to set me free. Mm -hmm. Amen? So I don't have to be tied into what the world says. If you do this, you'll be happy. If you do that, you'll be happy. Mm -hmm. If you make this, if you work this much or whatever, it's going to make you happy. No, I can't. I think Pastor Pat talked about this morning. You can't buy happiness. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if I do this, I have a choice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rejoice, especially when you know who your God is. Amen. You know whose you are. Yes, I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it because he told me no matter what, is coming my way. Yeah. He's been there, and I know I have victory yeah. in it through him. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Remember, see yourself that way. Decide yes. to be happy, joyful, and smile right where you are. Yes. And we talked about this. Bloom just like a beautiful flower mm -hmm. <laughs> where God plants you. Yes. Amen? He's got you where he wants you. Now I'm just going to bloom, and I'm going to shine for him. Mm -hmm. Just be God's little shining star, wherever you happen to be, you know, people always see something shining, uh -huh. and they'll say, wow, it attracts people, you be that shining star for him, amen, amen. you bloom where God sent you, yes. no matter, no matter what, Thank amen, so praise God, ooh, you're God's little winner, God's little champion, keep, yes. keep going, Thank you, Lord. Ooh, I love this one, praise you, uh, we can, we can turn there, uh, Psalms 100. Yes. And uh, I know um, I always encourage you to do this, read it from different translations, okay? Not just one. I know most of us read the King James, but all translations are good to read. Amen. You get a different meaning. Mine says, Psalms 100, verse 1 through 5. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Yeah. Two, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. singing. Okay, so listen, if you hear me singing <laughs> and you don't like it, pray about it. Because <laughs> God says, come before him singing. I'm going to sing. <laughs> so we're just going to pray that the Lord just touches and heals you if you're hearing, okay? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> know ye that the Lord is what? He is God. It is He that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with yes. thanksgiving, enter His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him, and bless His name. What? For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generations. Awesome. <coughs> this one's a little different. It says, shout, to the, shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Verse 2, worship the Lord with gladness. Yes. Come before him with joyful songs. Amen. Amen. Joyful songs. Three, know that the Lord is God. You notice yeah. there's different meanings on the on, on Lord and God, okay? Sometimes these all letters are capitalized, okay? We, we haven't studied those yet, but you can study those and you find out the names of God. Amen. It is he who has made us and now we are 
And we are his. Yes. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving uh -huh. and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endureth forever. forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Amen. Amen. This is okay to read the different, the different translations. So this is awesome. Amen. Amen. So we want to be joyful. And we're going to continue keeping our joy. Joy is the results of knowing. Joy is the results of knowing who, um, who we are and whose we are. Yes. Amen. That's the result. Mm -hmm. Once you know and you take claim and you say, Lord, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I know who I am and whose I am. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And Amen. of course, Nehemiah, again, Nehemiah 810 says, For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Mm -hmm. Habakkuk, Habakkuk 318, you pronounce it the way you want it. <laughs> Habakkuk 318 uh, says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Joel 2.22 says, excuse me, 221. Fear not, O, Lord, o land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Wow. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. So be led by the Holy Spirit. He said he was going and he's going to leave the Holy Spirit for us. Mm -hmm. So we want to keep our joy by allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide yeah. us in the way we should go. Which way should we go? You know what? You stand before him, you get before him, and you find out. Mm -hmm. Amen? Praise Amen. God. Proverbs 69 says, people can plan what they want to do, but it is the Lord who guides and directs their steps. Right. Amen? And also says, the steps of a righteous person uh -huh. are ordered of God. Amen? Amen. <laughs> I guarantee you, you know, all the time I spent in the military, I did a lot of marching everywhere and went many places, but all my steps were ordered by them. But as a, as a, as a soldier for God, all my steps, uh -huh. all the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. Amen. Uh -huh. So you know where you're going somewhere and you're not there by accident. God has brought me here. Don't say, well, I don't know why I'm here. Uh -huh. Well, you know the Holy Spirit impressed on you to be there. Amen. Uh -huh. So say, hey, Lord, you brought me here. What yeah. is it? Maybe small, maybe big. Just remember, as a child of God, if you do something small or big, do it unto Him. Yeah. You know, if you, if you ask the world, the world only wants you to do big things. You know, <laughs> if you're not doing big things, you're not uh -huh. doing anything good. That's right. You know, Lord may just want you to go share a word with somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just do something small, but you know that seed yes. is sown, and God's gonna. Once the Lord has a seed in there, yeah. he's going to make sure that it is That's watered. It. Yeah. And he's going to see to it that it's yeah. going to be watered. Yeah. And he's going to see to it that it's going to be an increase. Yes. And they're going to come to Christ. Right. And you know, you never know how many people you're going to touch That's until it. you get to heaven. All these people walk up to you and say, the seed you sowed uh -huh. Uh -huh. when you were doing the Lord's work mm. is why I'm here. Yes. Wow. And you yeah. didn't know. But God wants you to see the results. Yes. Amen. When Praise he says, welcome God. home, good and faithful servant. Uh -huh. You do something for me. You did something for him. You was doing yeah. something for him. Amen. Yeah. And he's going to reward you for it. He said he's going to reward those that work for him. Amen. Yes. So many people, so many uh, people complain about how boring life is. Uh -huh. We need to check our priorities on a daily basis. I guarantee you all my days. <laughs> But the military, mm -hmm. we're not boring. No. Because they make sure you have your priorities <laughs> in order on a daily basis. Oh, yeah. As soon as you check in, oh, yeah. you know these uh -huh. are my priorities. Yes. We need to check in with God on a daily basis uh -huh. and check our priority. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, yes. his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto yeah. you. Yeah. Hey, yeah. those things are coming. Yeah. First thing is first. Yeah. <laughs> I want to check my priority. Uh -huh. Amen. A good soldier <laughs> mm -hmm. always knows his priorities. Yeah. A good soldier for Jesus always keeps his priorities yeah. in order. Yeah. Amen. And that's what we need to do. Keep our priorities in order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they lost, you know, when they, 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 they just, life is born, they lost their love for God. They've opened the door for other things. They've opened the door for distractions. Yeah. You know, and some of those distractions may be family, may be friends. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Amen. So we have to be careful. They come and steal your time. Oh, yeah. I got to make time. You know, we always say we're going to make time for God. And here we are going to bed and we never had time to spend time with him uh -huh. from the beginning. <laughs> right. Amen. So we, we have to be careful. So get back in relationship. Amen. Get back in relationship with him. You know, we can run for him. I think as Brother Scott was talking about this, but we can run for him and we can do things away from him. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you decide, when you finally admit mm -hmm. and commit mm -hmm. <laughs> and come to him and say, Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. you may be laying on your deathbed. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He's not going to turn you away. Uh -uh. He's going to open his arms and yeah. receive you. Amen. That's why we are not called to be judged. We're just called to go and witness, be yeah. is it, uh, ministers of reconciliation and bring yeah. the good news to people. Yeah. And sometimes you bring those good news when somebody's laying in the deathbed. Yes. And this is it. You know, there may be sad, dooming and glooming, you know, because they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Yeah. But you know, when they receive Christ, Christ yeah. is going to receive them with open yeah. arms. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God is, he's going to receive them. Yes. So praise God. Life yes. is not born. No, it's not. Amen. <laughs> we just don't let our priorities slip. <laughs> Life is not born if we're being led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. We got to make some changes. You know, yes. changes is good. We got to be flexible. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got to be flexible. We got to uh -huh. change this, move uh -huh. this, and, and, and squeeze that in there. You know, be, yeah. be flexible. Be changeable. Amen. <laughs> All right. You would lose your joy if you're not willing to get out of the boat or the box or the comfort zone. Amen. Yeah. And be led by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He's been telling you and knocking on your door all this time. You know, the only thing you haven't done is open it for you. Yeah. <laughs> you, right. got, you have to open it yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. But he's been a knocking. The phone has been ringing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you haven't answered. But he says, you know, I never opened this door before. Huh. From the beginning, yeah. he wanted you to do this. Yes. And you waited all these years. Yes. And all of a sudden, oh, you decided to open that door. All and right, you, preach and that was your call right there. Mm -hmm. That was your call. That was your door. Amen. We've opened every other door except this one. I don't, you know how many people I've talked to that says, you know, are running from God because they know they have a call of God on them? Door number 10. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, let's make a deal. <laughs> Which door? Pick a door. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, simplify our life. Don't try to do too much. Uncomplicate your life. Satan complicates your life so he can steal your joy and your happiness. He sends distractions. He sends things. He sends all these other things. You know, right. sad news, bad news, all these oh, things. Yeah. You're going to have all those things yes. all, the time. all the time. Amen. But you know what? <laughs> you put those things aside mm -hmm. and put God on the throne mm -hmm. and worship him and just be thankful and say, here I am, Lord. Yes. What is it you want me to do? Yes. You know? Yeah. And he might start off with just spending time with him first, mm -hmm. you know, and getting that straight out, you know, yes. get that relationship going. Yeah. Keep us too busy to enjoy all God has given us. Mm -hmm. Even uh, Martha came and told Jesus, <laughs> "Look, Mary is sitting right here. Mm -hmm. she, didn't, she didn't even like her worshiping on, on Jesus. Mm -hmm. He says, we got work to do. She, said, <laughs> she ain't got no time for you. No. She needs to be over here helping me. He says, yeah. oh, Martha, you know, you know what? <coughs> you can drop dead and the world won't miss you. Yeah. You know, you got so many things to do. And you can drop dead and they just replace you with another figure, with another person. That's it. You know, hey, we'll just hire somebody else. We just, you're important to him. Yes. Amen. So remember yes. that. Yes. Don't get so busy that you push him aside. Uh -huh. Enjoy your relationship with him. Amen. Enjoy time with family and friends. Yeah. Take time to laugh and crack a smile. Yeah. Crack a smile. Force a smile. Some of us really, some of us really need it, okay? 
Some of us get, some, some people get mad at you because you smile all the time. You know, they'll just walk up to you and tell you, say, huh, why are you always smiling? What is so good about it? They don't see the good in anything. And you get on their bad times, you know, because you're always cracking a smile. <laughs> Take time to enjoy life. Yes. Pray with boldness, amen? This is how to keep your joy. Pray with boldness. Hebrews 4 16 says, Let us come boldly to the throne of grace of God, the great, our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Amen. You know, <laughs> if the enemy can keep you away from praying, uh -huh. keep you away from God, yeah. you know what he knows? Uh -huh. He knows. That if you know how to pray, yeah. it'll limit him. Yeah. So he says, you know, he's going to send all these distractions so you don't have time to spend with him. That's right. When you imitate your God and you're, uh -huh. you're more Christ-like, it's yeah. going to limit him. Yeah. And he can no longer rule over you. That's right. Amen. So just remember that. Be bold and be confident in God when you pray. Don't be double-minded. When you ask for his blessings, mm -hmm. just ask what you need boldly and yes. in faith without wavering, hesitating, or doubting knowing that your righteousness is of God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Here's Thank another thing Lord. that's going to make you happy. Mm. Learn to forgive. Yes. Amen. Remember what Jesus yes. did before he gave up himself to the Father. He said, Father, forgive them. Mm -hmm. Don't count this against them. Mm -hmm. Amen. So who are we to hold yeah, that's right. forgiveness against somebody? You know, they're out there, you see them enjoying themselves, and here you are, mad, mm -hmm. sad, with a frown on your face, yeah. and they're happy. Yeah. You know, it's just like taking poison and waiting for somebody else to drop dead. You know, it's like, oh. it ain't going to happen. That's right. Be quick yeah. to forgive. Joy and happiness is restored to your life when you learn how to forgive and forget. Yeah. And these two virtues go together. Yeah. Psalms 1, uh, 103 and 12 says, God tells us, he forgives our sin yes. and put them as far as the east is from the west. That's right. And he remembers them no oh, more. So who yes. are we to hold on to you, sins or unforgiveness from somebody, That's from right. somebody else, you know? Amen. Just let them go. Yes. You know, say, hey, <laughs> this happened. You know, you gotta love, you gotta love and forgive unloving yes. people. Yeah. <laughs> and there's tons of them out there. Yes. Amen. Amen. We must forgive, allow forgiveness to do its redemptive work. Amen. Stop remembering what they did to us. Oh yeah. You surprise how many people, even family, oh, walk yeah. up to you and says, you know, oh, I'm never gonna forgive you. Oh my goodness. Well, if Jesus can forgive and forget you, why can't mm -hmm. we forgive one another? Yes. And they're living a miserable life, mm -hmm. sick, feeling bad, and still holding on to unforgiveness. Yes. Stop remembering what they did to us. That's Stop right. thinking and talking about them. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Come on now. Preach it better than <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. <laughs> yeah. He has forgiven and forgotten our sins. We should not hold on to unforgiveness Amen. against any, anyone. Amen. The Bible says for God so loved the world. Yes. We're all talking about people. Amen. So, ha, praise God. Yeah. Obey God. I can tell you from experience that walking in obedience to God is one of the best ways to be joyful yes. and be blessed. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. Just obey what his word says. Don't try to figure it out. That's right. Let him stay on the throne. Yes. Don't take him off. Says, Just let me be on the throne for a few minutes <laughs> and see what I can do. Mm -hmm. No. Just let him stay there and do what he's telling us to do. Yeah. 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 Praise God. God knows what's best for our life. Yes, he will he lead us into his perfect plan if we give him permission to do so. Yeah. Again, you have a choice. Yeah. Amen. He put us here. And the, his word says we can do all things through all him. Things. Amen. But we choose not. But we got to make the right yeah. choices to let him, allow him, and give him uh Ownership. Says, yes. Lord, I'm yours. Do what you want to do through me. Amen. I just give myself back to you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Be yourself. 
Be satisfied, be joyful, be happy with yourself. It is very important and key to enjoying your life. Be the original God made you to be. Yeah. Be yourself, not a copy. Listen right. to this. Don't copy, don't compete, and don't yeah. compare. Yeah. I wrote right. it somewhere. Comparison, competing, and copying is a thief of joyfulness mm. and happiness. But that's what the world is, does. Mm -hmm. Always comparing you to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Always competing against somebody else. Mm -hmm. And always trying to copy somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's not what God made you to be. And how do I find out who, what God made me to be? Well, spend time with him. Have a relationship with him. Get to know him. Don't compete. Don't copy. Don't compete or compare. God called you, anointed you, approved you, equipped you. When you know this, you'll be joyful and you'll be happy and you'll rejoice. <laughs> Many people think they must become another person or be someone else. That kind of thinking will steal your joy. Yeah. Amen. We've all been there. Amen. So we just, we're not called to be, to be uh, men pleasers. We're called, called to be God pleasers. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And we're going to lose our joy if we're trying to please men because uh -huh. men will never be pleased. Uh -huh. Amen. So we don't have to copy, compete, or compare to another person. Amen. Just be who God created you to be. Listen, if God is happy with who you are, you be happy with who you are. Amen. Amen. So praise God. You know how you're going to find out? You have a relationship. He, you know him and he knows you. Amen. The world, he knows more about you than the world knows about you. So praise God. God has made everyone of us unique. He's made you and gave you gifts, talents, Amen. and abilities. No one else in the world is exactly like you. That means what is best for someone else may not be best for you. We're all blessed. We're all blessed by the best. And when you're blessed by the best, you know. You go to him and he tells you what to do. Amen. Steps of a righteous person are ordered by the best, by him. Amen. So he'll tell you. So be joyful, be happy with God, who God made made us to be. Yeah. He made you exactly who he wants you to be. If you try to be like someone else, you will miss the beautiful life God has planned, planned specially for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're trying, we're going against the grain here. God didn't call you to do that. But if we do what he's called us to do, we're going to be blessed. By the best. Amen. So praise God. And in, 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 in closing. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. <laughs> Surrender. Commit totally to Him joyfully. Lord, I just give myself back to you. Amen. <laughs> Listen to this. I'll, I'll close with this. All right. Colossians 3 23 and 24. We all know this. And this is from the Extended Bible. <laughs> How come y'all let us smile when I say that? Uh -huh. <laughs> In all the works you're doing, work the best. You can do it in heart and soul from the soul. Work as if you're doing it for the Lord and not people. Amen. Remembering and knowing that you are, that you will receive from the Lord the reward which he promised to his people. You are serving the Lord. This means that God wants us to be included in our daily, everyday living and not just when we go to church or assemble ourselves together. Amen. Colossians uh, chapter 3, verses 23 and 24. So I believe he's anointed us to live ordinary, everyday lives in victory with joyful. So let us let go and let God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> when we decide to let go and step out of our Sunday morning box, he is going to really bless us. Keep going. Got a few more slides and then we'll close. Give all your worries. First Peter 5, 7 says, give all your worries, all your anxieties and cares to God for he cares about what happens to you. Keep going. God can restore what is broken and changed into 
something amazing. Yes. All that you need is faith. When you get full of God, you get full of the word, you get full of faith. Yes. Joel 2.25, keep going. Fear God, O man, be glad for the Lord. Oh, uh, we missed that a little bit there. Go ahead, keep, keep going. Hebrews 10, 24, 25. I wanted, to, I wanted to read this to you before you see the next slide. But it says, let us consider uh -huh. one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, being joyful with one another, mm -hmm. and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Mm -hmm. His day is approaching. Now, this is what I want you to see. <clears throat> joyfully, it says joyfully, <laughs> these people are assembled for church service when church is flooded. Oh my God. If you know, I don't know if you can see it, but the church, the pews, people are in, this, this water is flooded. But they're still having church joyfully. You don't see a, a frown on their faces. Mm -hmm. They're joyfully having church and they're flooded. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you get an attitude like this, <laughs> this is awesome. Yes. Amen. Oh Assembling ourselves together. Well, I yeah. couldn't, you know, we have the best country, <laughs> the best things here. Uh, we got air conditioning. Yeah. I mean, soft chairs. We got soft chairs. <laughs> We got every, every every everything. We, we, we got we got the best equipment. We got coffee. We got donuts. We got honey buns for you. We got all these things for you. These people don't have that. And these revivals that take place out there in the sun, in the rain, bad storm condition, and these people are flooded, and they come and still worship their God. Amen. Amen. This, awesome. is, this is awesome. I wanted, I wanted you to see that. That mm -hmm. came across uh, in Facebook, and I saw it, and I said, well, I'm, I'm going I'm to show the congregation this. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Praise God. Amen. Mm -hmm. When we decide to let go and let God out of our Sunday morning boxes and into our everyday lives, we begin to experience his joy, yes. his happiness, his peace more than ever before. Amen. 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 So remember, rejoicing the, ab the abundant life Jesus yeah. died to give you is based on a decision you make, not on circumstances. That's Joy, right. happiness is a gift for us, mm. but some of us have never opened the package. Mm. We need to open that Amen. package. Amen. God is just waiting for you to open it. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. You can have joy. It's a choice that you make on a daily basis. Amen. So get rid of, put the smile on, get rid of the frown. Amen. Praise God. So Amen. be blessed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>